Hey, what up? It is your girl, MD, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a ginger hair mask that is incredible for the health of your hair for so many reasons. Now, if you are not already subscribed, I would appreciate if you stop what you were doing and go subscribe right now. I would love to have you a part of the fam. It's also great if you're looking for another option as a hair growth agent. And again, I know we talk a lot about hair growth options on my channel, but if you're anything like me, you like to know all that's out there and try things until you find what's best for you. And I'm just here to share those options and just make sure you guys are informed. All you're going to need is a decent sized piece of ginger root and whatever your favorite oil is. Today, I'm going to be using grapeseed oil. I like to rinse my ginger off first and then I'm just going to grab a knife or a potato peeler and just peel off the skin. Make sure you guys try to leave your ginger piece as big as possible. You'll see why in a minute. Once you have all of the skin peeled, this is what you're going to have left. Make sure you rinse your ginger off once more. And I'm going to just grab my grater and a plate and begin to grade my ginger piece by piece. The smaller your pieces of ginger are, the harder, the harder it's going to be to grade. So make, that's why I said make sure to try and leave them a little bit bigger so you're able to grade more effectively. Once you're done, you're going to be left with this. I think it's easier to drain the liquid out of the ginger by using a piece of cheesecloth. You can get it online or even in a grocery store. I got mine at the grocery for store for like $2. So I'm just going to pile all of my grated ginger into the middle of my cheesecloth and gather the ends together to form a little sack like this. Then you just wanna start squeezing over your bowl or a container. This is what you have left over once you squeezed it all out, but you could just throw that out. I'm not really doing anything with it. I transferred my ginger liquid to a measuring cup and I have a little under a half a cup and now I'm just going to add equal parts of my grapeseed oil. Meaning if you have half a cup of ginger, you want to match that with adding half a cup of oil. I feel like I always get that comment about what equal parts mean and that's all it means. Whatever amount you have, you just add the exact same amount of your oil. Now I'm just going to mix it up and I'm adding mine to an application bottle. You want to then apply the mask to your dry unwashed hair. It's always important to dilute ginger before adding it to your hair so never directly just put straight up ginger juice on your hair either you know you can add water or like we are right now adding oil work it into your scalp with your fingers or a shampoo brush is my personal favorite ginger is full of great benefits for your hair and can help increase growth i'm going to quickly go over those benefits but like always i recommend doing your own research and to get just to get a better understanding of what all those benefits are okay. first and foremost ginger improves the circulation to your scalp it's going to make sure that your hair follicles are receiving a good amount of blood supply to for healthy hair growth it's also jam-packed with vitamins and antioxidants the many many vitamins minerals and fatty acids in ginger is going to strengthen your hair strands and also help reduce your hair loss and obviously help grow your hair. The fatty acids can improve your hair shine and ginger also helps reduce different type of inflammation of the scalp that can at times lead to hair loss. It's also going to help fight dandruff as well as fight split ends. Ginger also has a natural conditioning agent that will help overall the look and feel of your hair, making your hair silky and increased shine. It also contributes to restoring moisture as well. I let this mask sit in my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes, but you can leave it in for up to an hour. Then you just want to shampoo and condition your hair like normal. You can use this mask about one to two times a week. There are many other ways that you can incorporate ginger into your hair routine. This is just one. Let me know below if there are some other hair growth recipes or remedies that y'all would like me to try and talk about. Like always, I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you guys in my next video.